the Golden Globes happened, right? Uh, and I don't know if you know this, but they do goodie bags and they do these type of goodie bags at like the Oscars as well. Okay. But the goodie bag here is supposed to be like the goodie bag, you know what I mean? And they can say that it has uh, value. Some of them have value up to 500,000 US dollars. And it's like, Whoa. unbelievable. Yeah. And um, do you, is it like a random thing on the way out? You grab one? Like... And you just hope it's like a valuable one? I don't know how they do it. I would imagine everybody's name is on it. These things are all named. Yeah, because what if you just got real lucky and you're just like, kind of like, you won like a little ticket or something? I yeah. don't know if that is even possible. So some but... of the stuff that you do get that are inside them it can be things from exotic yacht charters all the way to private jet vouchers or minutes as they call them, um, custom made sneakers, celebrity tattoo sessions. Like it is, it's pretty nuts. I think someone even said there was pizza making classes with like a world-class chef. Just and a it's just, whole bro, different world. Bro. Let me, let me be honest with you. Whole when I think world. of a goodie bag, I think of a packet of Harry Bows. Yep. Yeah. I think of maybe a, them small bottles of alcohol. Yep. I'm thinking a mug. A mug. If it, if it's yeah. your day, you're getting like a little premium key ring. Yeah. And that for me is it, probably the goodie bag. Yeah. Maybe a or t-shirt. If we're really there. going up, I was about to say a little Gildan t-shirt or uh, fruit of the loom. Yeah, 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 yeah. So these type of goodie bags, I've never experienced something like that. That is... Um, Do we have any pictures of that? Like, what does it look like, the bag? Like, does, nah, is it like there was no picture fancy... on the article. That's cool, though, isn't it? Imagine rocking up there. Did you see the gold? Oh, mate, there was another mad thing. I feel like we're gossiping a lot. We're gossiping Have we a become lot. like two little women? Yeah, we're, we're, this is like loose men. <laughs> <laughs> loose men right Wait, here. Is this is that how it? they would look? Are those mm. like paper bags? No, no, no. They look way- That looks like the seat. Wait, zoom out? Yeah, that looks like- Nah, I don't think that's a, that's a goodie bag. You'd, you'd imagine there'd be a picture of it to be fair. Another thing that I saw from the Golden Globes was actually Selena Gomez yeah. and Taylor Swift like- gossiping together like bitching and you could see people did like the lip reading thing yeah. and i don't know if you know this but kylie jenner and timothy chalamet are together yeah and supposedly like you could see she's talking about like selena gomez goes over to uh kylie and timothy and she wants to get a picture with timothy chalamet i think i think kylie jenner was just like no oh wow and then but you can see selena telling taylor swift this and they're all like Oh. Like, you know, that probably like, oh my gosh, she said what, bitch? I did see bread batch. The, the only way I would see this kind of shit is if bread batch posts it. <laughs> I saw a bread batch post about um, Selena saying it's not true. And she's real angry about it. Oh, really? Oh, so am I spreading misinformation? I try not here? to get caught up. In nah, yeah, you do. Up. That's the thing with YouTube. You always pretend, bro. I know you nah, love this Nah, for stuff. real, I really don't like it. Now, I do sometimes get caught up in it because it's easy to. It's easy to become like, a oh, cut. this is so interesting, this celeb yeah. stuff. But if I find myself getting in it, I'm like, damn, I'm becoming the person I hate. I always get onto my girlfriend for being so obsessed with celebrity lives. Like, yeah. they don't know you. They don't care. You watching fucking 10 hours of Kardashians. It's just shit. Yeah. It melt in your, it's melting your brain, which is rich. Yeah, but what if make, it makes her happy? Makes a I don't give a shit. Um, nah, yeah, but though. there's a lot of things. Okay, yeah, heroin makes you happy. You mate. know what, prod? What's up with that? Prod? A good point, prod. If it makes you happy, go for it. But it's all in moderation, man. If you're if all you do is like watch that kind of stuff, it's I think it becomes a bit toxic because don't you, you've got room for doing a lot of other stuff that is actually beneficial, moving you forward in life. What I would say is if you're relying on a TV show to bring you happiness. It's not great. As it can bring you happiness, and just in that minute, yeah. it can also put you put you in the pits. Yeah. If that's your way or, and your source of happiness, it's fine to get to do it a little bit. But if that is how you, like you're there, like oh, I'm really sad today. So the one thing that's going to make me happy is watching the Kardashians. I think yeah. that the, there's probably. I get what you're saying, but I think an element of it is that whole escapism thing, mm. like people that have those kind of, that lives where... Should those people be your escapism though? I don't know, maybe. There's an argument to be made fully by your Who point. Who am I to yeah. say what your I escapism think it's just should be? all in moderation, isn't it? Because like, that's one thing I've yeah. learned, like when it comes to like back in the day, I'll be smashing out video games every night, you know, like eight yeah. hours a day, 10 hours a day, whatever. It was part of my job, but when it wasn't, still, I look back on it and I'm like, damn, that's, it was fun, but definitely some time wasted. It's good to maybe do it for a few hours a night and then try and focus on something that is maybe going to push me towards my goals. Yeah. Same with alcohol, same thing. Trying to learn how to just moderate that more. Yeah. And if I did watch reality TV like that, then it would be fine. It's just moderation. One hour a night, two hours a night, whatever. 
Yeah, is it, yeah, it's a problem if you're if if, if you're, if you're relying it. on that to, to be your happiness. Yeah, society is like, entering its wholesome cycle. If it's causing you, I'm here for it. If it's taking you away from your goals massively, then it's a problem. Yeah. Uh, facts. So there we go. That that uh, and, uh, that me. That's Chip's way of telling me off. Don't fucking chat no celebrity gossip <laughs> nah, on my, on my can, motherfucking I swear, show. You, you can do it, bro. You can no, do no, it. No, no, you're right though. Like, <laughs> I, I just saw that come up, and I thought it was quite funny. To be fair, there'll be a lot of listeners that want to know that. Just want to hear your opinion on it. So oh. it's not like the end of the world. Like this is a podcast. We got to talk about that shit sometimes. We got a waffle, and I, I like hearing it too. At least I'd rather hear it here than be on on my phone what, reading about. It. Oh, okay. least, yeah, least, I've seen a few traitors memes with uh, that exact template as well. That, that's the best reality TV show. Yeah, Ch uh, Chip, sorry. Uh, Proddy's been harping on yeah, about this trait. Bro, it's, it's literally like a TV before. version of Among Us. That's literally what it is. Stanley's nodding his head. You like the show? Yeah, he does like it. Wow, maybe we need to watch this, Chip. I, I do know. genuinely think, Chip, you'd like it. You because there's, there's, it's thought-provoking. It, it's essentially people trying to outsmart each other. Okay, maybe I'll check it out. I mean, I, I did watch Squid Games this year. Yeah, so like, like here that. and there, I will give my, I will watch a little show like that. If you if you don't like it after episode one, you, and I'll hold my hands up, but I think you will. You can watch it with like the it. missus. Yeah, there, yeah, missus would probably like it, so it could give us something to watch. There you go. Okay, something for you here. What was that one mental rumor at your school that you believed? Oh, let me. The one that I believed. Well, we got some here that were sent in okay, from Reddit. Okay, go on. Let, yeah, let well, me, I think. Me, go ahead. Let me read some out. Okay, this is an easy one. Marilyn Manson took his bottom two ribs out. To blow himself. But okay, so that I fully believe. I, I that believe was that definitely that, told to me when I was at school. So you're saying that one isn't true? That has to be. I believe no, I, I'm pretty sure that is not a, a myth, by the way. Google that really quick because I'm sure that's real. I thought that was real. Probably we're going to need a fact check on this one. Did Marilyn remove his ribs? Yeah, it's not Monroe, is it? It's Marilyn Manson. Did I say Monroe? No, I don't know. It was rumored that Marilyn Manson had ribs removed to facilitate auto fellatio. That's such a funny <laughs> auto fellatio. Hey, what you doing? Auto fellatio. You, we've spoken about how we've tried soccer on cocks, right? That yeah, true. Um, yeah, is it is it true? Or no, I think it. I think he had to have them removed. There's but no record in oh. medical literature that this happened. He must be fuming. Oh, he must be like, why does everyone think I did this? <laughs> <laughs> all um, right, pull give me up. another one, Chip. Big root. All right, big rumor that went around our school was that some lad sunflowered his girlfriend. Lol, was a funny one. What's what sunflower? What's that? W work it out. What what do you think it means? Pissed on this the girlfriend's vagina. Sunflowered. It's when on his a girlfriend? man puts his hand up a vaginal canal and what? opens it like a sunflower. But not, isn't that a Chinese torture method, brother? Bro, who's doing Why? that? I didn't even. I, I prefer. I would have preferred not to know that. All right, here's another one. One time, one of our teachers came to school with feathers around his fly, and he became known as a chicken fucker. <laughs> that rumor started five years ago, before I even started school, and I believe it's still going strong to this that, day. That's horrible, man. Bro, just could have been anything, man. Now, he, but why do you have feathers write, around? He might your have been writing fly. out a little note to his long lost missus with a quill. Yeah, feathers came off. Landed on his crotch. Now he's banging chickens. Yeah, no. that's a that's a tough break. That's not that's not fair on that bloke. Heard a rumor at school. Nah, this one's not real. <laughs> heard, <laughs> <laughs> you heard a rumor that heard a rumor at school that this Polish guy shagged his cat and came so hard that the cat flew up and got stuck on the roof. This was a genuine rumor that went Don't, around. That's cat. You've just lied well, this, and we've read it out. We uh, got suckered into that. Nah, it's proddy. Like he research, he does his research. I reckon half of these are proddies. A girl got friendly with a science class test tube in one of the classrooms when no one was around. It smashed inside her and she had to go to hospital and have it removed. <sighs> I swear uh, every school had this one, you know. Yeah, no. everyone, every school had one where a girl apparently put something up. But yes. That is true, right? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah that, that was always like, banana, that always goes around. carrot, cucumber, science test tube. There's always Skittles. Something. What? Yeah, you were right. in school was crazy. All right. Whole school thought the geography teacher was cheating on his wife and two children. Was he cheating on his two children? <laughs> With a different teacher at our school. This rumor has been passed down through siblings for around 10 years, by which point I was around year nine or 10. They had heard said rumors, but it's worded really weirdly. The rumors had caused them to get closer, joking about it, and just as 
I was about to start my geography exam, he told us he had recently got divorced as he had got the other teacher pregnant and had proposed to her behind his wife's back. Yo. Brother, I couldn't even, under- I don't even understand what I've just read. Look, did you it get turns that? out that the rumor had been going around for years and years and years. And then lo and behold, he knocked up one of the other teachers. I've always said this, you know, I felt as though there were teachers at teachers school. Were always they were on flirting it, like- with each other like mad. Like sometimes you'd be there like, Yo, miss, like, has anyone seen, like, the way Miss fucking Smith is moving yeah. to Mr. Longcock? You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> Mr. Longcock. <laughs> no, it was true, though. You'd always be, you'd always, like, try setting them up. Yeah, like, like, oh, oh yeah, Mr. Like, Longcock be looking at you different, Miss yeah. Smith. And then it'd be like, oh, no. There were teachers at my school that, like, hooked up on, like, a school ski trip. And then they're, like, married with kids now and stuff. Whoa! Also, like, oh, they just got together, did they? Yeah, they just had a drunken <laughs> night out on a ski trip, school ski trip. They were both like working, and then yeah. And how did, porky, you, how, porky did you, porky how did you guys find out? Because like he was watching the people on the ski trip, like knew about them like cuddling and shit. Boinking. Like in public, they were just being bare flirty and things, and they both were single at the time. Damn, that's so unprofessional. <laughs> is it, you know what's mad is like there are like we probably have teachers that listen to this because. At our age, it's like this normal people teach yeah. classes. But what's crazy is that like they could just be porking at school. Like it's just, I don't know. When I was at school, teachers were always like 50 year old people. <laughs> you but always now saw them in a different light. Yeah. But now you know they're just like regular like people. Age at this age, like they're probably doing packet. They're probably. Yeah. Like um, a, um, a guy I grew up with, I uh, lived across, uh, on my street. It's called Dan. He. You sure you want to, to name him? Oh, it don't really matter. No. Like he, he's just, he's nothing bad. He went to a different school. He went to North Chad and I went to Radcliffe. So it was like, there were like the rivals, not rival schools, but there were the two schools in the area. And then as we've grown up, gone through everything, I see him on Instagram. And then he became a maths teacher at that school. So I don't think he is now, it's but like full just, circle. It's weird like full because circle, in I school, that was my boy. Yeah. And I like, I couldn't, and now he's a maths teacher. He, he would have beat, he's to them kids. He's like, you see that, that yeah. connection that and at school you're there like I'm have. never why would I want to be a teacher like you you hate the teachers yeah but some people want to be teachers don't they like I, I get it but at the same time like I knew what kids were like back in the day I couldn't I couldn't hack it they're getting cooked like that and like I, I'll be honest with you I think really teachers do a like, hell of a job yeah like, now you now you know yeah that they are smashing it because they put up with some rampant shit yeah well I think about us back in the day we were just awful yeah. And then kids today are also all over the place. Especially now. I mean, I heard I heard stories that now it's super woke in school and to the point where if a kid wants, like, it holds a lot of power over the teachers because let's say a teacher, they go to a teacher and they say, mm. oh, I want you to call me like they, them. And then let the teacher either like forgets or doesn't say it. And he goes, excuse me. You've mis you've like misjudged me, and they weaponize it against the teacher, Whoa. and they can like complain about it or whatever, and it's just like a massive issue. Whoa, that's coming up in school is because people aren't like obviously the whole pronoun thing was created with good intentions, mm-hmm. but now, now young kids have picked up on it and are just weaponizing it as a way to either get out of things or to blackmail teachers. You know what I mean? Like it's all mad. Mm. So I, I find that just a bit crazy and I think being at school now would just be a different breed especially everybody's got phones you can film everything back in my day bro you you weren't pulling out your yeah. Samsung D400 that to film anything that is completely different now man I bet that, school bullying's like mad now as well do you reckon phones. it's worse now 100% I don't know bro. you know okay. pro- the reason I think school I think online like a lot of it, people will go home and then online it's, bully people from your school. But I think actual bullying in person is, is risky because people could just film everything that goes on. Bullying back in our day, like if, if a kid was to get beat up, it's not being filmed. But, yeah, I mean, it's sometimes, yeah, not like it is now yet. Oh, but it's damn. not about it being filmed. I think there's more, there's more kind of like, a lot of the bullying goes on when people have left school as well. So like if someone gets uh, a WhatsApp or something, uh, someone that's like quite nasty or they're making an ac- a fake account about them, yeah. spreading lies, all of that sort of stuff. I reckon that is 10 times worse because well, when I was at school, there was, was like Twitter yeah. and WhatsApp. That's it. Yeah, 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 you're right. 